Hi everyone, this is Rayanne Salter from Minding My Books with another tutorial demonstrating Intuit QuickBooks accounting software. Intuit just introduced a new software solution a few months ago called Intuit Enterprise Suite. This software is for professionals, service, and construction companies. Intuit Enterprise Suite, or often called IES, is not a good fit yet for wholesale and distribution, retail or manufacturing companies, but we are keeping our eyes and ears open for that coming down the pipeline. If you're evaluating new tools like Intuit Enterprise Suite, stay tuned at the end. I'll show you how to book your complimentary assessment to see exactly how this could fit your operations. I'm going to start this video by demonstrating a new feature with IES called Dimensions. I like that name. Dimensions allow you to track income, expense, and overall profitability by business segment. Dimensions will give you specific insights into what areas you do well and what areas you need to change. For those of you who use QuickBooks, it's like classes, but on steroids. This tutorial uses a construction company as its example, but I offer free personalized one-on-one -on -one assessments for businesses in any industry. Schedule yours today to design the perfect software solution for your needs. Let's get started. Normally within QuickBooks Enterprise or QuickBooks Online, you have one class field where you can add the name with subclasses as you can see here. This allows you to run a report profit and loss by class. This will give you the profit and loss from your specific class or segment that you set up and used in transactions from your bills and invoices. Within IES, in addition to the single class included with QuickBooks, you can have up to 19 more top dimension fields. Let's review Keystone Terrace Construction Company within Intuit Enterprise Suite. Click on the COGS bar at the top of the toolbar and choose Dimensions. In this example, let's go through how you may set up dimensions for a construction company. Step one, create your dimensions list. Let's look at Keystone Terrace Construction Company's current dimensions setup. Within IES, in addition to the single class field, you can create up to four custom top level dimensions. I know what you're thinking, why not 19? To have 19 dimension fields, it's an added cost. Within the top level dimensions, you can create subdimensions or values which are unlimited in number. Subdimensions can also be broken down into more subcategories or subvalues which are limited to five. First, let's click on the dimension called customer type. Here they have three types of customer segments they service, which are commercial, government, and residential. This is called subdimensions. Then they want to segment whether they are the general contractor or subcontractor of the project. This is called sub-subdimensions. With this setup, they can produce key reports to help them see the profitability in those customer segments within their general or subcontracting division. In earthwork, they want to see profitability between the task of excavating and grading between their general and subcontractors. In the concrete dimension, they want to track profitability between concrete block, poured, and slab foundations divided out between general and subcontractors. In utilities, they created subdimensions of cable, electrical, gas, sewer, telecom, water, and other, with some subdimensions labeled as general and subcontractor. With this setup, they can produce key reports to help them see the profitability 
in their utility products within general and subcontractor. I went through in detail the dimensions set up to get you thinking about how you want to set up dimensions for your company needs. As I always say, it's all about the correct setup in the beginning to make Intuit QuickBooks software successful for your company. Now let's navigate the dimension screen. To create a new dimension, click on the green Create New Dimension button in the upper right corner. Since we can only have five top level dimensions, including classes as one, I would have to inactivate a current dimension to add a new one. Click on the Reclassified Dimensions button to change individual transactions made during your entry of sales and expenses. First, choose your account you want to review. Scroll over to view the current dimension entries for each transaction. Then either click to choose the individual transaction to change or check mark multiple transactions you want to reclassify with the same dimension information. Select the green reclassify button. Here you can make your changes and save the transaction. I'm really impressed with this feature. To add values or rename your dimension, click into one of the main dimensions cart. Click on the green add value button located in the top right corner. Here you can enter the sub dimension along with any sub values. To break this down so hopefully it's understandable, the sub value is the sub dimension such as commercial and the name would be the sub sub dimension such as general or sub. You can also rename a dimension or make a dimension inactive from the light green more actions drop down. To edit or make individual subdimensions inactive, click on the add value under actions to work within that specific subdimension name. Like we mentioned before, you have five levels under a subdimension. You add another level by clicking add value underneath the action icon to add another level. That concludes the first step to setting up your dimensions. Step two, create a bill. The next step is to show how you categorize expense information. Let's take a look at bill number 18 to tool supply outlet for tools needed when preparing and pouring concrete to situate their gas lines within the foundation. Under the expense category 6530 purchases, you see the customer name, Emily Wong, Sage Realty with the project name BMH Landscaping Phase 1. No class information was entered. Within the dimension line items, they entered the customer type as commercial sub because this is a commercial job using a subcontractor. Under earthwork, they entered grading sub because these tools allow them to adjust the slope of the project. This project calls for poured foundation. Our concrete category is poured concrete foundations sub because some of the tools are used to aid in setting the concrete. Lastly, when pouring the concrete, they had to set gas lines within the foundation. The tools cost is part of this. We will mark this as gas sub under utilities. You can tell this might be slightly exaggerated, but I wanted to give you an example of how you might use this. Step three, create an invoice. Now let's review an invoice to show an example of how they entered their dimensions. Their invoice was to Sage Realty Management for work done for BMH landscaping. Within the product service line items, they entered the customer type as a commercial account for Sage Realty Management and doing work as a subcontractor for BMH Landscaping. 
So the customer type is commercial sub. The work they are performing is grading. That's why they chose the grading sub under earthwork. The materials they are using under commercial construction prep are poured concrete foundation with the sub value of jet. The utilities are gas with the sub value of sub. The second line item is for engineering prep work completed by in-house staff. You will enter your information based on the dimensions you set up. Step four, print a profit and loss report by dimensions. Now that you understand how to set up dimensions and how to enter the information in the transaction section within sales and expenses, let's show you how to run your report. Go to reports, go to business overview section, choose profit and loss by dimensions. We're going to choose the report period of all dates. You can filter your report and we will filter ours by the customer, Emily Wong, BMH Landscaping Phase 1. You can then choose Display to choose how to display the columns by. We want to deep dive into earthwork. Here you will see all earthwork subdimensions with their values and subvalues listed along the top of the page. You can also add a condition filter to show only specific subdimensions of earthwork. We will choose earthwork equals excavating. This will give you profitability information for excavating with both general and subs. Another way to use dimensions is by creating a transaction report with a pivot table within into an enterprise suite. I have one saved in custom reports. Here you can see that I filtered concrete to all sales, cogs, and expenses. Then I added the concrete to the column section. Once that was completed, I went to the pivot table and chose to show the account full name in the row section with the columns to show concrete with the total amounts. We could customize this more by filtering between general and subcontractor or the different types of foundations. I just wanted to show you this because I think it gives you much more reporting functionality. I think you can see how powerful dimensions are within into an enterprise suite. The secret is setting up your dimensions correctly with the accounting team entering the correct information on transaction lines. That concludes our demo of dimensions within Into an Enterprise Suite. If you would like to schedule a complimentary assessment of your current software and operational workflow, click the link in the description below. We'll then recommend the solutions that best align with your company's needs. Thank you so much for watching this demo and look out for more to see all the new features available in Intuit QuickBooks software solutions. Thank you for watching again, and if you felt that this video brought you value, please subscribe, like, and share. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much.